We have all been there. You see that machine that tells you how fast you're driving and maybe you find yourself pumping the brakes. Yep, the city of Berea is taking the concept to the next level, turning to sleek new monitors to help keep the streets safe. News 5's Paul Kiska live tonight from Berea with a close-up look. Well, one of those speed monitors is set up here on Rocky River Drive in Berea. It's part of a pilot program to see how they work or if they work, but so far city officials tell me so far so good. You've probably driven by one of these speed monitors, but in Berea, some neighbors complain to City Hall saying they're eyesores. Now, Berea is using these speed monitors that resemble flat screen TVs and are mounted to telephone poles. They're smaller, look better, and are easily portable. That means they can quickly be moved to neighborhoods where people are worried about speeding. We consistently get complaints on a number of roads in Berea that, that people are speeding. Um, and particularly because so much of Berea is residence oriented. Berea safety director Barbara Jones told me today these new monitors record how fast traffic is going so police can figure out where to do target enforcement. Know where the trouble spots are, allow us to put law enforcement resources in areas that actually um, are having the problems. The monitors are not cameras and cannot generate tickets. And then it locks in with a tamper-free lock. It's got a tamper-free um, faceplate to it for any type of destruction. This one is on North Rocky River Drive, where the service director told me speeds have been clocked at close to 60 in a 35 mile an hour zone. They could go quite fast. Resident Edna Thompson told me she's concerned about speeders since construction has finished on Rocky River Drive. And now that the road is fixed, it's easier to go faster, basically, because you're not uh, inclined to all the tra the tie-ups and everything that they've had. It's about actually preventing accidents from happening. Now those large speed trailers, I'm told, cost between six and $8,000. These smaller ones cost about $3,800. So far, Berea has one of them. They plan to buy more of them because they said it keeps neighborhoods and streets safer. Live in Berea tonight, Paul Kiska, News 5.